All right, so <laughs> it's watermelon time. This is a word. All right, so you guys, it's been a while since I've sat down and just kind of had a uh, watermelon with y'all and talked to you about stuff. You know, hasn't been years, but it's been a little while, so. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about, you know, the past couple of weeks. So um, there was, you know, the group of students that were here. Some of them are still here, they just wouldn't leave. So some flights got canceled, I don't know. There was weather in, in, in New York City. And so three of the students ended up having to come back. And um, you guys also know that um, Kearney, who uh, is a sometime content uh, YouTube vegan uh, content creator, but definitely a vegan who's actually been doing a bunch of vegan activism. And we're gonna be sharing some of that stuff with you later in the week. We're gonna be doing some gardening. We decided we're gonna plant uh, dandelions because i that's the thing, the greens that I love the most. And I usually have to kind of go foraging for them throughout the neighborhood, which isn't a big deal, but like, you know, I don't have control over what other people do in their yards and I don't wanna pick stuff that's been growing on the side of the road because there's cars. And so, so just to have a, you know, just a big old patch of dandelion greens, I think would be awesome. So I'm gonna go for that and um, you guys also forgive the lighting, but it's really bright outside and I didn't want to be inside because people are still sleeping. So I'm sitting out. You guys are hanging out with me outside of alt space. So yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning, the plumber showed up and I know that last year did the fundraiser to do the flood mitigation at Alt Space, and then winter hit, and it was just not possible to do it in the winter. You know, I wanted to wait for the weather to pick up, and then I left. Obviously, went to Brooklyn, so wasn't here, and really didn't want to leave a job that big to just like Ethan for Ethan to manage. And you know, it's, he's got enough on his place. By the way, I've got a great story to tell you guys about Ethan. Remind me, I'll come back to it. So the um, the plumber got got here and basically explained to us that our um the pipe that connect was connecting us to the sewer line was was you know just not functioning and so we weren't draining the way that we were supposed to be draining and with you know 14 people basically 14 people camping out at alt space it was not it was not pretty it was a lot on the plumbing so yesterday um they showed up and they had a digger and they just like, um, we're talking about professionals here. Um, basically they um, cut through the fence, um, came into the yard, um, positioned the digger, um, dug down about like eight feet straight down and found what they were looking for, cleaned it out and in two hours they were gone and now everything is working. But um, so now the, the flooding is, the, the flooding's been addressed which was a huge weight hanging over my head because, you know, while there was flooding, that was like affecting the foundation, you know, and I, I, things are still great now, but just knowing that, you know, things can go back to normal. Last year, because of the flooding, there was the whole mosquito infestation and that hasn't happened. So hopefully um, we won't get that same thing. I actually did a little bit of like um, the kind of the, the same thing that I did last year to deal with them, but I just did it in a limited area of the basement and um, it seems to have not affected any of the insects in the upper floors of the house because, you know, we have spiders here. And I kind of like the spiders. The spiders are just kind of the way, I feel like the way to deal with any insect problems because the spiders eat the ones, the spiders eat them. So there's that. Um, so you guys, uh, I didn't really get to talk about this in my live stream recently, but there was, um, uh, you know, I did want to uh, address and some people, you know, I commented on a video that Vegan Cheetah made about um, Mod Vegan, who was being critical of Fully Raw Christina, and I understand that, you know, people want to look out for, you know, the YouTubers that they like. That's fine, you know, it happens. But I do feel like when we get to the point where we can't be at all critical of 
vegan content creators because of what? You know, if we can't be critical of each other, then what kind of a society are we trying to build together? <clears throat> Do we assume that there's one type of veganism that is going to lead to um, the you know, the world that we're all trying to achieve. And I don't even know what that is, right? Have we articulated what the world is that we're trying to achieve? Um, because like even folks like Gary Urofsky, who's not really doing vegan, who's not doing vegan activism anymore, kind of retired recently, talks about the fact that, you know, once everyone goes vegan, it's going to solve all of the rest of the problems in the world. But um, it doesn't really articulate what those problems are. So, you know, once the world goes vegan, what is, what is the world that we envision <laughs> once that happens, right? So if we can't articulate what those desires are by being critical of the ways we see people who are now vegan behaving that might not sort of fit with our own idea of um, what a society might be like um, if everyone were vegan, then, you know, what's the point? What's the point? Um, and I think it's a huge claim to make to say that veganism, say, might, you know, solve all of the world's problems, but not ever articulate what you think the world's problems are. So, This is a card that one of the students gave to me on their way out of the door yesterday and asked me to please um, not read, to read once they were gone and to, um, to, to that um, she wanted to see my reaction to the card. Okay, and so um, for her to be able to see the reaction to the card, I'm filming my reaction to the card. Um, <laughs> Funny enough, um, the student who gave me the card is also one of the students whose flights got canceled, so they're still here, but um, I'm reading it. You know, I'm reading it. So, um, it's a beautiful little card, and you guys, I'm sorry you can't see it because of the light, but you kind of can get it. It's got these little flowers all over it, and it has, it says, One kindness makes a heart full. One kindness makes a heart full of gratitude. All right. Oh my goodness, and it's all of them. <laughs> it's from everyone, and they all signed it. Um, it's so cool. This is so beautiful. Yeah, they all signed it. They all signed it. <laughs> yeah, so they all signed it. Okay, so the one who said, who gave, um, who asked me to read it out loud anyway, so I thought it was just gonna be from one of them, but it's from all of them, and they, oh, they, they've all said such cool things. All right, so I'm not gonna read these because I, didn't, I don't have permission from all of them to read the things that they wrote, and some of them are kind of personal. But, um, it's real, oh look, so now Sydney is like over there, she's peeking around, but I'm not gonna say, anyway. So I just, I just opened the card, thank you. So, she thinks I'm gonna stop making this video. Look, there she is. You guys remember Sydney. <laughs> right, Sydney, are you leaving right now? Yeah, in a little bit. Okay, she's leaving in a little bit, but they're probably gonna have some coffee and breakfast and things like that. So, oh yeah, so while Sydney's out there, while well, Sydney has reminded me, so last night, we were hanging out at the house. First of all, they came back and we ordered vegan pizza, which was really cool. Bomb. It, was the, it, was the, it was the bomb, it was delicious. And you can, here, come in, squeeze it. Get a little something. So here's Sydney, so now we're suddenly, so now there's two of us. People are gonna be like, what? What's going to happen? This everything's blowing up right now. So Sydney's there. So like, we got back and we had this vegan pizza, which was delicious. Mm -hmm. um, but um, one of the things that happened last week was, um, so we had most of our meals prepared by a, um, a, a nearby sh uh, somebody who's a chef, a caterer, who runs a food truck called the Pink Flamingo. And for those of you who are in Detroit, it's right up the street from Hostel Detroit. So if you know where Hostel Detroit is, if you just head about half a block north from Hostel Detroit, you'll find the Pink Flamingo. Pink Flamingo is only open on Thursday. And so I figured, you know, Mako might have some room to do some other work. And so Mako has been providing vegan food here at Altspace for the last two weeks for most of the meals. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And then for breakfast, it was just like, you know, 
She got a bunch of breads and cereals and our friends at Avalon Bakery that I told you guys about who was the person who maybe gave me non-vegan scones. We're not sure, but we had a whole thing. You guys already chimed in about that. Suddenly it's getting really bright. First of all, Vegan Cheetah, if you watch this video, don't complain about my lighting. <laughs> You get your content straight, then you can talk about my lighting, all right? Ooh. Yes, that's right. Burn. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> um, so, um, but anyway, later that night, we started talking about the fact that we didn't, we were supposed to have these um, breakfasts. Um, uh, Mako brought the ingredients to do tofu scramble. Mm. We finally had some tofu scramble, like yesterday, as Aaron people were, Aaron hooked it up, who you guys didn't really meet, but, uh, well, there's, there's plenty of video, and you guys will actually see Aaron in some later videos that I'll post from some of the activities that we did. But we were also supposed to have vegan pancakes, and, like, I don't know if people are skeptical of vegan pancakes or what have you, but... I think Ethan ate them all yesterday. <laughs> no, let me explain what happened. So, so, no. This is what Ethan did, and, like, they don't even know that this is like, I was so proud of Ethan. So, uh, last night there was a recipe for vegan pancakes that had been given to us by Mako. And vegan, and, and Ethan so I called him vegan, so, cause he's, he's vegan Ethan. Anyway, <laughs> so Ethan's like, no, you guys, it's really easy to make pancakes. And I think maybe somebody asked about eggs. Yeah, like and what, then he talked about bananas. So he explained to them that you can use bananas to replace the eggs in pancakes. I come downstairs and vegan and Ethan <laughs> is holding court around a fi frying pan. He's like, give me some of this. Give me some of this. He makes up this batter. I'm going to be honest. I was skeptical because I'd never seen Ethan cook anything in the year and a half that I've known him. He gets this, he gets this frying pan hooked up. He gets his little, you know, earth balance, puts it in the pan and he starts making these delicious banana ba so banana good. base they were so good we were tearing them apart <laughs> off the plate they were delicious but not only was he talking about not only was he talking about like how easy it was to make the pancakes but he was just sort of doing this really subtle did you pick up on like he was doing this this really subtle vegan advocacy he was really talking about mm -hmm. how it's possible to be vegan how the things that you like you can still have them in their lives there's ways to replace foods that you really love that you know use animal products but you know so, and they were delicious right they were really how did good. you feel afterwards because i think you actually said something about veganism at that point um honestly after this whole week i'm like i think it's possible because i've been thinking about going vegan just for like health reasons mm -hmm. and just you know looking at older people in my family and i'm like i need to stay healthy but um those pancakes were really good they were really fluffy and i like the um the texture and the and they had like a a, a slight banana taste it wasn't like too banana mm -hmm. banana -y. Um, yeah, i was i was actually surprised good. by that because um I would have thought that they would have been banana pancakes, mm -hmm. but they weren't really banana pancakes. The, the flavor of the banana was very subtle. And we added some vanilla to them too. I think, yeah, he added some milk, some soy milk, mm -hmm. and there was like other things in, in, in it that um, accommodated the banana or complemented the banana taste. Yeah. And they taste really good with the maple syrup too. It was, it was delicious. They were. Yeah. Would it, do people still say the bomb? I say the bomb. Okay, so they it were the, was the bomb. They were the bomb. All right. <laughs> yeah. When I go home, I'm thinking about I'm making an effort to at least be vegan three days out of the week. Okay. Just to like. Just to start. Just to start. And see what happens. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I when I see you again, when I see you again, mm -hmm. well, you had actually talked about coming back. Yeah, I'm trying to move out here. I need to figure out money stuff, but. I want to try it out. I feel really at home here. It's really weird. I've never been here in my life and I feel so comfortable. <laughs> I feel so good. So. Is there a scientific reason for your feeling so good here in Detroit? I'm joking. I don't I'm know. joking, people. No, I've been like thinking about I'm like, what is it? Have I been facts. here before? Like, feelings make people pack up their bags and move from one state to another. Feelings make people go vegan. 
And things that I've been thinking about, like, in terms of my purpose and, like, things that I really want to do and what I'm passionate about, I see them being reflected back at me. Like, it's possible to do it. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about things, like, that are connected to your values. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, y'all, I was going to sit here and eat this whole watermelon and rap with y'all, but, you know, people are awake now. I want to go and be a good host. They're leaving yes. today. They're leaving today. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys for checking in. So as they say before, can you hold my watermelon? I'm going to do mm -hmm. this like this. Um, that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg. This is Sydney. <laughs> Signing <laughs> off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.